So I just wanted to come on here and admit that I am not naturally a good dancer. In fact, I'm naturally a terrible dancer. And the reason I bring this up is because I, I kind of mentioned this in the past. I don't really go through the comments that often, but there was a comment recently that I kind of caught my attention. Uh, I was kind of just going through my my last video and I saw in the comment someone had an objection to the 10 minute poll. And uh, I, I'm really um, glad to hear feedback and, and things like that, because if you have that question, then most likely other people have that question as well. So I appreciate any sort of concerns or objections that, that come up to any part of the process, because part of it means that uh, for me, I, I could do um, some clarification and probably what I'm going to do is go back through and revise that part because I want to make it clear that in particular, one of the reasons why I have the process, and maybe it's because, you know, you might be in between steps two and three, for example, but I, I can't remember if I explicitly said in the latest version of the 10 minute poll, but there's a reason why I came up with the move that I did. And it's because I actually can't dance. And I remember back in the day, I was such throughout my entire life. I honestly have been, you know, two left feet, not, not a good dancer. I remember high school dances when they played hip hop songs and uh, they didn't really play EDM or anything like that. But when I went, I was working at EDM club and I was just really embarrassed to even dance at all. And uh, even recently, you know, I've, I've learned how to salsa dance over the past year, but that's really the first time I've, I've gotten into dance. Um, but even last year, I was at a Colombian house party and uh, it was hosted by this family. It was this girl, girl's birthday. And in Colombian parties, if you've ever been to a Colombian house party, you know that Colombians love to dance. They, they always, they play music until the wee hours of the morning, sometimes until like six, seven, eight, nine a.m., depending on you know. One time I was, I went to this New Year's party, in uh, Medellin. My one of my friends, she invited me to to go with her. This was back in 2018, and they they literally will keep going until the sun comes up. Like there's family members falling asleep. They take naps on the couch as the party is still going on, it's, it's really actually pretty funny in there. There's constantly food and shots of, well, in Medellin is, or Colombia, it's like shots of aguardiente. It's like a, a type of liquor. Um, and they drink a lot. They're partying a lot. They, they basically dance the whole night. Uh, it's an experience for sure. And for me, I've never been comfortable in, in those types of environments. I was, I remember in high school, I'll go to a party and sit in the corner because I didn't like I didn't know how to act, to be honest. I didn't know, you know, for me, I admit it that I, especially when music comes on and things like that, I get really awkward. Um, and I, I honestly have a lot of resistance when people make me dance. Um, and the reason I brought up the Call Me House Party situation is because I went to one last year. You know, my friend, another friend invited me and, and I went with her and uh, she was trying to get me to dance. And I'm like, no, like, please please don't make me dance. Um, they were playing like reggaeton and um, I'm like, all right, fine. Like, you know, it's just to be kind. And then I was trying to dance and, you know, it, it was, so this is the thing is I can tell the commenter has, hasn't seen me dance uh, because if you did, then you'd be like, okay, I, I take back what I said. I, I, I can see that you don't have you don't really have any sort of body rhythm or anything like that. Like, you know, if, if you were to see me dance, you wouldn't have made that comment. I promise you. Um, because she was like, is something, is everything okay? Like when someone, when you start dancing and someone asks you, is everything okay? Uh, she's like, it starts to be in because you know, she, of course we, we talk in Spanish. She's like, it starts to be in. Like, Are you okay? She's like, tranquilo, like relax. It's okay. It's okay. She was like trying to reassure me as I was trying to dance. And that's how bad um, my dancing is, to be totally honest. So the reason I, I bring this up is because I just wanted to, to provide that perspective. And if you can't dance, or if you feel like you can't dance, then I empathize with you because I know exactly how that feels. And that's why 
in part three or step three of the process. That's why I, I do it how I did. Now, I, I maybe I didn't make it clear in, in the book. I'll have to go back and, and see what I wrote um, or in the master class as well. But something that I, I usually explicitly say, honestly, when I teach this process is you don't have to know how to dance. In fact, it's actually better if you don't dance, right? It's actually better if you don't dance. Um, the reason I say that is because sometimes what happens, well, if you're trying to do the process through and through exactly how I taught it back in the day and you want the most efficient way to pull, uh, usually, because here's the thing, I know that I say to take, to go to the dance floor, but it's not to dance. It's because the dance floor is a place where physical intimacy is more accepted. Right? That's the reason why you go to the dance floor. It's not to go dance. If you if you go to dance, then you're probably going to get distracted and then all sorts of things happen. But if you want to do, you know, the 10 minute pull process, just exactly how it was taught back in the day in the most efficient possible way, then you go from step two, you go to the dance floor, you do the move that I talk about, and then uh, you just keep going from there, right? I, I, ex I explain exactly what to do, but, you know, there's this move that I talk about, and then um, as soon as you kiss, pull, and that's it, right? So I, I want to make that clear um, because, like I said, if you have that question or if you if you have that concern or objection that comes up, then probably other people have been thinking the same. And for me, it's it's my responsibility uh, as a coach to to just clarify these points and to reassure you that yes, I've had that come up where clients of mine have had that concern because they, they felt like oh, I'm supposed to take her to the dance floor. I don't know how to dance. And what I can say is I don't either. <laughs> I know how to dance salsa now because I've been practicing for the past year uh, and some bachata and things like that. But honestly, like back in the day when I was doing it in Vegas and back in the day, I, I just, I, I was so awkward on the dance floor and I, my entire life, most of my life, I've been really uncomfortable with dancing. Um, and in fact, you know, a lot of the times in, in the nightclub, sometimes I remember there was a point where I was trying to dance more and it was, it wasn't necessarily improving my results. In fact, it was probably taking, taking it in the opposite direction. But, uh, but if you want to do the 10 minute pull, it's going to work regardless of whether you dance or not. In fact, it's, it's better if you don't dance. Um, it's better if you just follow the process exactly how it's laid out. So anyway, just want to clarify that. And, um, you know, hopefully, you know, for those of you, in case you, have been going through the book and the master class as well. Hopefully it's something that has been insightful for you and you've been enjoying and uh, always open to feedback as well. You can also email me at marcus at 10 Um, And that goes directly to me. And I usually go through and, and actually answer questions. Like if you actually have questions then feel free to, to send them my way or any concerns or anything about your particular situation, uh, feel free to, to let me know. And my goal is really to, to make it the best product possible, right? Anything that I put out is, for me, it's really important that people are actually getting results with it, that you can take the information, you can actually go out and apply it, and it works for you, right? For me, it's not just about you know trying to make a bunch of money off of a product. If it doesn't work, then I don't feel good about that. Um, so that's why for me, I, I, I'm open to hearing any sort of feedback that you have and, and feel free to shoot me an email. Um, I don't always check the comments. I'm being totally honest. I don't always check the comments. Um, I just happen to see that comment. So with, that's why I have the opportunity to respond now. But, um, but yeah, if you, if you send me an email, then I should be able to see that and respond. So anyway, just wanted to, to put this out there. And hopefully this clarifies a couple of things and I'll talk to you later. Take care.